Hi, I'm John Manning, and I'm here to do a review on the Canon XL1S. This camera is a great camera, just kind of as a precursor. I have used it for about a month now, and it is a pretty awesome camera. The thing is super lightweight for its size. It is super durable. It's got a great hand rest. Um, you can carry this thing around just on the hand rest, and it is just solid all the way through. It's a beautiful camera. Also, you can carry it on your shoulder. Um, they actually have a shoulder attachment for this that I don't have right now, but uh, I would get it if I was going to use this camera considering the fact that I'm selling it. I am not going to. So, anyway, moving on. Uh, the camera comes with a gigantic 16 times zoom lens with an optical image stabilizer. Now, the thing that I like about this lens is that it's got an image stabilization, as I said, right here. And it's also got uh, manual and autofocus switch, but that's, you know, that's kind of standard for um, pretty much all of your cameras that you're going to be getting uh, lenses and stuff like that. So with, but the thing that I love the most about this lens is that it actually has an autofocus push button to where if you're over in manual mode, then, I mean, you, you can't get that focus just right, you know, you're wondering if it's good or not. Just hold that sucker down and uh, it will totally focus out your camera just fine. So that is a pretty cool feature. Um, some more things that I like about this camera is that um, you have a serious amount of audio adjustment. I mean, it has got so many different things you can do with it. I mean, I honestly don't even know the full extent of uh, what you could do with this camera. So, but the, speaking of audio, this camera also comes with a Canon stereo microphone. And I have to say, I am very pleased with the sound quality that comes out of this camera lens, or this camera mic. Um, I've worked with several camera lens, or excuse me, I keep saying lenses. Um, I've worked with like five or six of these different microphones. You know, I've used Sony, um, Canon, and uh, I mean just a whole bunch of other uh, mics and I have to say this one is probably my favorite um, you know I've, I've worked with all kinds of different mics before you know um, condenser mics but I'm not gonna go into that right now um, but this mic is really great uh, for any kind of I mean you could do interviews with it or you could do like a motion picture with it it's, it's just a fantastic mic and I totally recommend using this even if you are not using a uh, Canon camera. Uh, moving right along, we have an eyepiece here. So the problem with this eyepiece is that it's got a piece missing right inside here. So you can't move the eyepiece up and down. That's the only kind of bummer deal about this camera. But other than that, uh, the camera, uh, the eyepiece works fantastically. Uh, it's got a really great quality. You can adjust the um, the eye point on it to where I mean you can go. Uh, near or far and so that's uh, really handy and then you can also adjust um, well, actually no because of the duct tape unfortunately you can't adjust much more but you can also adjust the focus on it it's it's pretty adjustable so and then you can you know this slides onto the camera and I'll show you that in a minute um, yeah so moving on also with the camera, I have two battery charge, uh, two batteries. So one of them is an hour and a half to two hours, and the other one is four to five hours, depending on you know how much you charge it. Um, I have to say, after testing these out for quite a while, I'm very impressed with the amount of time you can get out of these batteries, especially this one. This one lasts. I haven't charged it in like four days and I've done you know a whole bunch of film stuff with it just fine I mean it's still at full battery power so I mean, that's pretty impressive to me um, also uh, with the camera I've also got the battery charger so you know it works just fine I've tested it out um, charges really quickly actually I charged that uh, four day battery in about an hour pretty awesome um, also with the camera I'm selling this tripod I'm not charging anything more just because you need a tripod with a camera. Come on. 
So this one is an American Recorder Technologies camera, and uh, it's or tripod, and uh, it works really well. It's got, I mean, it's pretty simple. That's what I like about it is, you know, there's not a whole lot to it. It works. Um, it has a bubble balance on it to where you can actually see, like uh, your central balance. So if you're off any at all, you know, and you can tell on the camera, you can actually look at your bubble and see if it is indeed balanced. It's got a handle on it and uh, it's made of aluminum so it's super lightweight. Works really well for uh, on the fly stuff like uh, longboarding videos. I do a lot of longboarding videos so that's why. Um, let's see, moving along I have a Pelican case that I have used with my Sony PD-150. I've used it with a couple of other Canon cameras. Um, let's see, what other cameras have I used? Uh, let's see, I've used, um, I think Canon and Sony are most of the cameras I've used. I can't remember anything else, but, um, this Pelican case is probably the most awesome case I have ever had for a camera. And I've had, you know, those bag cases, you know, the over the shoulder, I've got backpacks, I mean, um, Rubbermaid cases. I have to say, this one is probably the best case I have ever owned for a camera. It is indestructible. I mean, you can jump on this thing, you can kick it, you can throw it down the road. Uh, actually, my friends and I were uh, filming a video in his truck, and we were getting on the freeway to go home, and his tailgate was down because we had a whole bunch of stuff in there, um, including, you know, like a camera boom and stuff like that. But anyway, um, this case slid out going 60 miles an hour. It rolled and bashed all over the place on the freeway, ended up hitting the divider, and we stopped, went over and looked at it, picked it up, brushed it off, put it back in the truck, and drove home. The thing did not budge. There aren't even a whole lot of scratches on it, honestly. So, um, But I'll show you the case now. So this is the case. It's pretty big, and it's pretty heavy. I mean, the thing is fortified. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was made of Kevlar, but, I mean, it is a pretty decent case. Um, here's what it looks like on the inside. So I've got all of this packing, uh, well not packing foam, but it's got, you know, professional quality um, camera foam for your case. Uh, you can use it for lighting or you can use it for your camera. I actually have it set up to where you can put the camera in there. So uh, it's super helpful because, you know, I mean, you've got all this stuff you need to carry around and you need to take good care of it, um, but you're in a hurry. This thing rocks. Uh, now. I looked online and these sell for about sixty to seventy dollars. Um, I would raise the price about fifty bucks uh, for this with the camera, but the camera itself I'm selling with the tripod. You can have the tripod with the camera. I'm not going to raise the price at all. Um, the price will be in the description on KSL. So, um, and I'll give you guys on YouTube a link to the KSL ad, and I'll give you KSL guys a link to this video. So, um, with the Pelican case, um, I, there is one more thing that I'm selling that uh, I'm not sure will go with the camera or not. Uh, if you want to buy it with the camera, you can. I will take the price down a little bit, but I'm selling two uh, Lowell Omni lights. They are fantastic. I'm actually using one right now, and it's super bright. Uh, one of them needs a bulb replaced, but the bulbs are like, I think, I think they're like five bucks, but I mean, you know, that for, well, no, no, they're not five bucks. They're probably about 10 bucks, but uh, the last time I had to buy one was like four years ago. So, but these are really great lights. They come with C stands and uh, their power cables. They've also got the uh, shaders. Um, I don't have any professional grade um, diffusing umbrellas or anything like that, but uh, you know, honestly, I've gotten by with some uh, you know wire hangers and a bed sheet that works perfectly just gotta make sure that it's fireproof you know get some fireproofing and works just fine so yeah that concludes my well actually I guess I could show you the lights so I'll be right back so I've got a case for it and it's a Rubbermaid 
action packer. But uh, I'll show you these first. So here is the um, C stand that goes with the lights. So it comes, there are two of them. I'm using uh, the other one right now. So, but this is a really great C stand. It works fantastically. I mean, they're super tough, but the thing is about them that I like the most is they're lightweight. Uh, it's made of aluminum, and uh, it was actually made in the U.S., which is awesome. I love U.S. made products, man. Um, it is a very high quality C stand, like I said, and uh, you know they're easy to use. You just pop the thing on there, and bada bing, you've got a light set up. So here is the Rubbermaid case. It's waterproof as well, but uh, it actually has one of my old logos on it. It's totally washed out. Um, I don't want to take it off of there. So, you know, I'm not going to charge you anything more for the case. You can totally take the case. Uh, one more thing before I show you the light. I've also got this. Uh, it's a Sony boom mic cover. I do not have the boom because it, uh, my, one, of my brother, my, one of my brothers broke it, unfortunately. It was a sweet boom mic. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I can sell this for like 10 15 bucks probably. I'm not sure. You know, give me an offer. I don't. I don't really mind. I'm, I'm pretty open to trades or whatever. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, that comes with the camera if you choose to buy it. So here's the light. And uh, it's in really great condition. The only thing it needs is the bulb. It comes with one of these. This is the shader um, or reflector for the camera. Uh, it's a directional shader. You can open it up and... Um, you know, you can keep it like this or you can spread it out. It's actually, you know, pretty mobile. Uh, they're super light, easy to easy to use. They're in great condition. You know, I haven't used them a whole lot um, because, you know, a lot of my green screen work was short-lived. So, but also, actually, plus the lights, I've got one more thing, and that is my green screen. I think it is a 12 to 14 foot by five foot green screen. It is probably one of the biggest green screens I've ever seen. The thing is huge. I've actually got it folded in half and rolled up. But I mean, it's as big as my torso and my head rolled up. The thing is massive. It is in fantastic condition. It's made out of some pretty awesome materials. I need to do some more research on what it is made of, but as you can see, super nice, vibrant green. Uh, might have even vacuumed it off and taken really good care of it. It's sat in storage for quite a while now, so now I'm selling it. <clears throat> but other than that, uh, I pretty much that's it. So, you know, uh, let me know what you think. Give me a call. My number is 801-896-4603. Um, I live in Utah, so, I mean, I would like local people to ask. I'm not going to... Um, you know, send it to you. I'm not, I don't accept any payment other than cash or trade. So I'm sorry guys, but, uh, we all know how those spammer guys are. So, and I, I actually had a pretty bad incident with one of those people before and they stole probably about $300 worth of materials from me. So not really happy about that. But yeah, that's everything. So, uh, Yep, give me a call. I would prefer text just because I'm using Google Voice instead of a regular phone because it's cheap. Actually, it doesn't cost anything, and I'd recommend using it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. My name is John, and uh, have a good one.